My name is Sarita Davis Oliver, and this is my son, Peyton Davis. On February the 9th, my son was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia with the Philadelphia chromosome. I never thought it would be in my family. I see my baby every time. And uh, it just hurt. Just to think that my baby brother is the one who had leukemia, it just hurts my heart because I'm thinking, what, I don't know why, why did leukemia pick him? And he's the happy one of the family. One, one day she stood up in church and she said, Peyton got cancer. Man, that was not a dry eye in the house. Everybody cried. I was in a pool pit. I cried. Uh, man, I, 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 it, 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 it knocked me off my feet. When I found out Peyton was diagnosed with leukemia, I ran into the bathroom and I cried. Because <laughs> in my mind, I just kept thinking, how did he get this? And why does he have it? When my son got diagnosed, when he found out he had cancer, he said, Mama, please don't let me die. And we have been struggling trying to get him out of the mindset that he is going to die. He has a twin brother and two sisters who have supported him through all of this. I, I was like devastated. And yeah, it was kind of very heartbreaking to me. Our life changed tremendously. Every three weeks we were in the hospital. It's been very difficult because um, she worked for me, as a matter of fact. And little by little she started having to spend more time with him, taking the treatments, uh, getting him diagnosed with exactly what kind of cancer he had. And so uh, that, not a Sunday passed by at the church uh, it didn't help her um, or even pray for her. Um, and then she had to quit. And I knew that would be a burden on her. But she had to do what she had to do. Since then, he has been going through chemotherapy. He's on his third round. We are in the phase called maintenance once. He's gone through two rounds of chemo, um, and we have a long way to go. He's had to leave school. He's been devastated. He used to hang out with the uh, youth group a lot, but now he can't because he can catch viruses easier. He, he is a church boy. He always was a church boy. He um, does communion. He, made, he makes up his own sermons. And now that he can't really go to church, it's kind of, I think it's kind of affecting him because he's getting a little depressed now. He goes in the hospital, the twins stay with us. It's hard. It's hard seeing him trying to play outside by himself and do things by himself. He's so used to with doing with his twin. With the doctor been telling me I might be the one that to give him a bone curve. And I'm fine with that because this is from Peyton. Peyton. He's got to do great things once he gets to I'm not going to say if he gets to remission because saying if means he'll never make it. I'm going to say when because when sounds like he's going to get there and he's going to get better. We have been blessed. We have been blessed. Our community, I did not know our community loves us so much. We have organizations, we have individuals who have stepped up to the plate and blessed us more than anyone would ever know. So I would like to thank all of those who have blessed us and who will continue to bless us in the future and just keep continue to pray for my son and my family. Where do you find your strength? Uh, in God and like I said in Peyton's mouth because when he's happy I'm happy.